Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. Towing a trailer adds stress and strain on the tow vehicle. Components like the engine, transmission, and rear axle run hotter when you tow a trailer. Suspension components and tires are under more stress from the additional weight, and the tow vehicle brakes work harder to slow and stop the additional weight. Therefore, it's important to check the tow vehicle prior to towing a trailer. Here are five tow vehicle checks you should always make before you tow a trailer. Number one, check all fluid levels. I mentioned a moment ago, components on a tow vehicle run hotter when you tow a trailer. Fluids like engine oil, transmission fluid, and antifreeze help lubricate moving parts and help keep components cool. If a fluid level is low, you risk overheating or failure of a major component on the tow vehicle. Check the engine oil, transmission fluid, power steering, engine coolant, windshield washer reservoir, and brake fluid. Consult your vehicle owner's manual for proper fluid levels. If a fluid level is low, try to determine why and correct the problem before driving or towing the vehicle. Number two, inspect the tires for any obvious damage like unusual tire wear patterns and sun damage. If you notice a problem, have the tires inspected by a professional prior to towing. Check the inflation pressure in the tires. It should be set according to the manufacturer's recommendation. When you are towing a trailer, additional weight is added to the trailer's tongue and from weight distribution if you use a weight distribution hitch. The inflation pressure in the tires needs to be adjusted for this additional weight. Inflate the tires based on the load. You can go online and search for the tire manufacturer's load and inflation table to see how much air is required in the tires based on weights. Number three, check all the tow vehicle and trailer lights. It's important that all the lights on the tow vehicle and trailer are operating properly. This lets other drivers know what your intentions are when towing a trailer. Plug the trailer cord into the tow vehicle and check the running lights, turn signals, four-way flashers, and brake lights. Start the tow vehicle and check all the gauges for proper operation. If you tow a trailer often and do not have a transmission temperature gauge and a differential temperature gauge, I recommend adding them. They can serve as an early warning device like other gauges if a component is starting to overheat. Number four, inspect the hitch receiver on the tow vehicle and all the hitch components for loose or broken hardware and for any cracked or broken welds. Inspect the hitch ball, the ball mount, the weight distributing bars, and the sway control prior to towing the trailer. If you discover a problem, do not tow the trailer until the damaged component is repaired. Hitch the trailer to the tow vehicle and double check all hitch work to ensure it is properly set up for towing. Number five, do a trailer brake check to make sure the trailer brakes are operating properly. Release the parking brake if it is engaged. Put the tow vehicle in drive and slowly start to pull the trailer forward. Hit the brake pedal and you should feel the trailer brakes engage and stop the trailer. Do not tow the trailer if there is a problem with the trailer brakes. These are five simple checks you should always make prior to towing a trailer with your tow vehicle. It's a good idea to develop a pre-trip checklist for both the tow vehicle and the trailer. That way, you will never forget or overlook an important item prior to leaving on a trip. For more information on using and maintaining your RV, visit rvonlinetraining.com. Happy camping.